Hello, Brain Shakers. Welcome to the Brain Shakers Academy. Your host here, Bray Valestis. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the fitter positions that the fitters may decide to actually take up as it is negotiating the birth canal to then culminate into a successful vaginal delivery. So now, what are some of those positions that then the fitters would decide to actually take up? So there are a number of positions that the fitters would take up. The commonest positions would be roughly six positions that is either an anterior position or a posterior position or they will be in the lateral position so it is very important also to quickly make mention that when we are talking about a cephalic presentation obviously we're looking at the denominator being the occiput here so this is going to be our denominator in a cephalic presentation unless you're having a cephalic presentation but then you end up having a first presentation it means that the denominator obviously will change and then you'll be talking about the momentum but that is a more a presentation that we would look at in a different and separate video for this particular session we're looking at the normal cephalic presentation where you have the occiput here as your denominator so i've got a pelvis here right in front of me and you have this aspect here as the posterior aspect of the pelvis and then you have this aspect here as the anterior now on your end there you would obviously be looking at the pelvis like this making this the maternal left and this the maternal right. So if the fetus decides to actually assume a position where the occiput is pointing anywhere in the anterior aspect, then it gives it an anterior position. And if it points onto the posterior aspect, then it gives it a posterior position. Now let's quickly look at some of those positions that this fetus may choose to take. We have already made mention that our denominator obviously is going to be the occipital bone. Now a denominator is just basically what is going to determine what position that a fetus is in. So it changes in every presentation. If it is in a bridge presentation, you obviously be talking about the sacrum as a denominator. And we've made mention also that if you're looking at the first presentation, it's going to be the momentum. And if you're looking at a brow presentation, it'll obviously be the sense put here. Now, for the session, we are looking at the denominator being the occiput. Now, let's quickly start with the posterior position. So, we will be on the posterior aspect here. So, it means that if the occipital bone here is actually going to be pointing towards the right sacroiliac joint here. So, if it's pointing in the right sacroiliac joint like that. And when you're looking at it from that end, it will then appear more or less like that. So you've got that appearing like that. It's pointing towards the right maternal sacroiliac joint. Then that will give you a right occipital and because we are pointing into the posterior aspect posterior position so that will be a right occipital posterior position and when it is pointing towards the maternal left okay so the left sacroiliac joint then that will give you a left occipital posterior position there are rare cases and sometimes when this fetus is going to be in this position then it means that you have a directly occipital posterior position because the occiput is right under the uh, sacral promontory or pointing towards the sacral promontory in the sacrum so that is a direct to the occipital uh, position for the maternal uh, pelvis now, this fetus may also choose to assume a lateral position. So if then it chooses to point towards maternal right, giving you the sagittal suture here to lie in the transverse diameter of the maternal pelvis and the occiput is pointing towards maternal right here, then it will give you a right occipital lateral position. So what just changes is the position where that occiput is actually pointing. If it is pointing towards the right, then you know that the first thing that you're looking at is right. And then the next thing is the occiput. And then that gives you the position, whether it is posterior, is it lateral, or is it anterior. Now, if it is pointing the other side, that is towards maternal left, 
So towards maternal left, you have the occiput in that direction or having to feel the uh, posterior fontanel towards maternal um, left, then you will have this as your left occipital lateral position. So that is going to be the position for this fetus. There are times and mostly when these fetus now will take up the anterior position, meaning that it will take up this position and you feel the sagittal suture, which is just this line here. This suture that you feel here is going to be in the oblique diameter of the pelvis. Now, if the posterior fontanel here is pointing towards maternal left, then that is going to give you a left occipital anterior position. But if it is the other way around and it is pointing towards the right or maternal right, then that is going to give you a right occipital anterior position. So once that is said and done, you can also have another position where you actually tend to feel the posterior fontanel just right under the symphysis pubis there. That gives you a direct occipital anterior position. So the positions, therefore, are determined by the denominator, meaning that you're looking at that particular presentation that you have. If it is a cephalic presentation, a normal cephalic presentation, you have the occiput as your denominator, which can obviously give you the posterior positions, give you lateral positions, or give you anterior positions. So that is how you will then be able to determine those po positions. But I must be also quick to make mention that when you're doing a vaginal assessment or vaginal exam, you must be able to then feel for the fontanel. So if you can get through to at least one fontanel and be able to differentiate which fontanel it is, whether it is the posterior or the anterior, then it will be easier for you to determine the position of the fetal head. And then you will then follow the sagittal suture, which will then help you to understand on whether you are dealing with an anterior or a direct anterior or direct posterior position. Are you dealing with an anterior? Are you dealing with the lateral? Because you feeling the sagittal suture in the transverse, then tells you that obviously you're dealing with a lateral opposition. So an oblique can either tell you an anterior or you're dealing with a posterior position, but try and go and assess uh, the uh, fontanels, whether you can get through to the anterior fontanel or you can get to the posterior fontanel. So those are some of the positions that the fetus may choose to take when you are looking at a normal cephalic presentation. If you found this particular video helpful in understanding uh, some of the positions that the fetus may take as it is negotiating the birth canal, don't hesitate to drop me a comment in the comment section. Head on to my YouTube channel, subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss any of this amazing stuff. There is more coming in the next session. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.